So what we've done here at Sandia is we've created a platform that we call Megadroid. And the real object here is to be able to simulate hundreds, thousands, or even up to a million Android devices like you would have on your smartphone. What makes studying Android phones especially important is that these devices are general purpose computing devices that people carry around with them you know, to the supermarket, to the library, these other places, and they're loaded with sensors. With a phone, it's got a GPS sensor, it's got a camera, it's got an accelerometer to tell how fast you're moving, all, all these various sensors. And to actually provide good fidelity for a simulation environment, we need to simulate the inputs to these sensors as well. One of the things we've done is we've written a, a fake GPS radio for all the Android phones, and we can feed these phones GPS data from simulated street map uh, data of people walking around a city, for example. And so the Android device thinks that it's moving across the city, making its way through the streets of town. And if you were to connect to this Android device and look at it, bring up the Maps application, you would see the little icon for your phone moving across the screen. These things can make them especially vulnerable to uh, a number of other attack vectors. So say, for example, you're at the library and you use the library's uh, free Wi-Fi and your phone gets infected that way. But then your phone can talk to other phones that you pass by and perhaps infect these other phones. Kane is this cluster that we've put together out of commodity PCs, so it's very low cost and still has very powerful hardware and it's specifically targeted at running large numbers of virtual machines. Uh, the whole machine, as far as clusters go, is a, a relatively inexpensive uh, cluster, and that was by design, because the goal is to target these lower cost systems so that the end user, when this product is finally released, can set this up in a, a smaller scale just on their desktop workstation or just a small number of machines. It can improve our understanding of these systems. It can Im help improve the security of the systems. And it's the kind of thing that a small startup may not have the resources to put together, or many large companies may not really have the incentive to do. And so we're going to try to release the software, make it available to the public, and hopefully get other people involved in using it. Sandia is uniquely situated to do this sort of large scale work because we have a long history of doing capacity type cluster simulations, very large scale simulations of, of all sorts. Uh, so we have a lot of really good human and machine resources for doing large scale simulations of all sorts of things.